Greater Intimacy with God, a daily devotional for Thursday, October 8th, 2020. The verse comes from Hebrews 9, 27 and 28, New King James. And as it is appointed for man to die once, but after this the judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many. To those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time, apart from sin for salvation. The Glorious Hope is the title of today's devotion. During the Cold War, a famed scientist remarked, The United States has 100,000 atomic weapons, while Russia only has 50,000. Yet it would just take 4,000 such weapons to destroy the entire human race. Another scientist said, I'm not optimistic that the human race will survive another 10 years. Bertrand Russell once bitterly remarked, I wouldn't give a 50-50 chance that one person will be alive on this planet 40 years from now. Winds of despair often blow across our dying planet, causing us to live in an uneasy tension. We wonder what shattering blow will hit us next. Terrorism, pollution, and violence permeate our daily lives. Man without God has absolutely no reason for hope. Without question, our scientific accomplishments have outstripped our moral strength. We recklessly rattle rockets and threaten ourselves with total extinction. Pitted against the blackness of the hour, however, is the promise of centuries ago. I will return. Christ promised to return to our world and bring order out of chaos, joy out of despair. This is the glorious hope of the believer. Jesus taught his disciples to pray, Thy kingdom come. What a remarkable petition this is. When Christ's kingdom comes, there will be no more war or hatred. Babies will not die of starvation or neglect. When Christ comes, human suffering will cease. All the more the believer should daily pray, Thy kingdom come. The true believer longs for our Lord's return. Pray with me. We pray daily, Lord, longing for this glorious hope, seeking your face, searching your word, listening for your still small voice. When your kingdom comes and your will be done, completely, totally, restoring all of creation as it was meant to be, then we will put on incorruption and immortality. We will join in the perfection of the saints to give you all praise, glory, and honor, now and forever. Amen. Come quickly, Jesus. Okay, and the links are there if you want to check that out. And there's a link for some music, 2020 Anthem, Thy Kingdom Come. Good song, give that a listen. So give us a thumbs up and click subscribe and share with a friend. All right, and leave a comment, question, prayer request. Always glad to hear from you. Always glad for your prayers and support. So have a good day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.